All right, y'all, what's up? I'm out in the garage today and I'm going to do an oil change on my 2023 Kia Sportage all-wheel drive hybrid. Uh, so I apologize for the lighting in advance. All I got is a little flashlight and I'm doing the video by myself. But I'm just gonna go over this because this is the first time I've done it myself. Um, so that way you have an idea of what you're getting into when you decide to change your own oil to save a few bucks. All right, well, first things first, you're gonna need to take this cover off and it is located right here. Quite close to the front side of the car, you can reach it without totally getting under the car. And to get that first panel off, really simple. All you need is a flathead screwdriver. It's this style of a fastener. Uh, you pop it in there, you pull, pull down the top, and then it slides right out. So not too hard. There's only four of them for that first panel. And then this piece here right above, this is going to be the housing for your filter. Uh, you're also going to need to remove that. I'll get to that in just a second. And it does have this piece here that you can get a wrench around and tighten it up. I didn't have the correct socket, but it is a 5 16 wrench that I was using um, to spin that. Okay, in order to access the drain pan, which has this nice little icon over here, um, you're going to need to take off this cover. I've already gotten loosened up. And you're going to need a 10 millimeter uh, socket or wrench to take these guys off. And then there are just plastic retaining clips here on this end. So um, a flathead screwdriver will do just fine to take those off. But got these loosened up after I use the wrench, pull this down, and then we've got access to the drain pan. All right, once you've got the cover off, the oil pan is right here, and that is a bolt that needs a 17 millimeter socket. Um, and of course, pay attention to that crush gasket there. It does need to be uh, replaced with each oil change. Once you have drained the oil and you are ready to get the filter off, this is the housing right here for the filter. Um, and there's one thing that's nice is there's a little drain plug that you can pull. So you, there's a little pin up over, over here. If you pull this out the top, right here, as you can see me moving back and forth, if you pull that out, then you can pull this tab down right here. And when you pull that tab down, it's gonna release any oil that's still in the filter housing. Um, so that's nice so you don't make a mess as you are trying to replace the filter. All right, so upon taking the new filter out of the box, uh, it actually appears that a new filter is gonna come with this little tab, and you're gonna push that in um, this way, which is what I kind of figured out, but I did, not, I, I did not know at the time that this was gonna be attached to the filter. So uh, I guess when you change your oil, you don't need to worry about this. I'm gonna hold on to it just in case, but um, the new filter does have one on there, so you'll be able to push it down in there, align that circle, and then push the pin down through. All right, so with the new filter pressed down in there, uh, as far as it can go, you can see this plastic tab pushed down through the little opening. The circle's right where it needs to be so that it's secured with the pin. So we'll go ahead and put that pin in there and then it is ready to be tightened back onto the car itself. All right, in order to add more oil, you will have to pull this cover off that's just uh, fastened down uh, on top of these little guys. And then you have access to your oil right here. The dipstick is accessible without taking this off, but if you're going to refill it, you do need to take this cover off. Be careful. Keep this clean. We're going to go ahead and put our oil in there. All right, that's going to do it. Pretty easy job. The main difference with this car is that there's no can style filter that you screw on. Uh, instead, you have to take the whole housing off and then you kind of have a free filter that you put down into the housing and then reattach the housing itself, tighten everything back up. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard uh, oil change procedure, OW20. Um, tighten up the drain plug with a crush gasket and yeah, that's about it. Save yourself some money doing it yourself. Don't take it to the dealer. Don't let them charge you 120 bucks or whatever it is, whatever crazy amount they want. Um, you can do it yourself. It's easy enough. If you have questions, um, hit me in the comments below and I'll get back to you. See you.